cloudy, cold, and even foggy across parts of the state on this Thursday. We do have some rain that will be making its way in from the south and west after 3, 4 o'clock. Some icy spots will be developing overnight as it gets colder, and most of the snow will stay along and north of Highway 20. And there is no big temperature drop as we actually have a warm front building in from the south, but it's going to stay the coldest here. This is where we'll see the worst travel conditions. Winter weather advisory starts for these communities after 3 p.m. and then lasts until Friday morning. There are winter weather advisories in effect over Nebraska and also southern Minnesota. So here comes the precipitation. Again, this is rain right around 3 p.m. The pink is not pretty. More of that freezing rain sleet right around Audubon and Carroll, and that will continue to advance off to the east northeast impacting parts of northwest Iowa. More rain expected during the evening commute. If you're headed to Iowa City to cheer on the Cyclones or the Hawkeyes tonight for the big bas basketball game, it will be all rainfall along I-80. This is where we'll see a band of snow, heavy wet snow around 8, 9, 10 o'clock. Once the sun goes down, it will continue to add up and get colder in between Fort Dodge and Mesa City. I really don't think these communities will experience a warmer air and therefore they'll see more snow. Now that will move out by Friday morning. Friday afternoon will be dry and cloudy and most of the precipitation on Saturday continues to fall apart. Now we really need this rainfall pretty bad if it holds together. We could get a quarter to close to a half inch and again the heaviest snow amounts will continue to be closer to Mason City, but around one to three inches expected in northern north central Iowa. Here's the light precipitation on Saturday along the northern border of the state. A few flakes of snow, some rain to the south, and then the clouds break up Saturday night. We'll see some sunshine on Sunday. And then on Monday, by the end of the day, more rain wake makes its way into the state. And it looks like a pretty decent rainfall and some windy conditions as well as this is a pretty big storm system. So we'll keep a close eye on that one for Tuesday of next week. Here's a look at the highs today. Close to 40 degrees across most of the state as that warm front pushes through. Tonight we'll hold steady close to the freezing point overnight and then tomorrow afternoon again we'll be close to 40 degrees, which is about where we should be for this time of the year. 40 today, again cloudy skies, more rain pushing in after 3 p.m. Then more of that wintry mix overnight and some snow in northern Iowa, and that's where we'll see some tricky travel by Friday morning. Friday afternoon looks dry with the high of 39 on Saturday. Chance of a little light precipitation early in the day, more sunshine on Sunday with some more rain arriving late Monday and continuing through Tuesday. Tuesday will be our warmest day next week. It is looking mainly dry on Wednesday with highs in the upper 30s.